Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here. Please ignore my squeaky squeaky chair. Like, as you can tell, it's very squeaky. <laughs> but anyway, today I'm gonna show you guys, basically, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of tips on how to trade. Now, first, of course, you're gonna want your first limited, and I don't recommend any getting any of these smalls, because, you know, smalls aren't that good. When you're starting, you want maybe something around a 1k range, like, let's go back. Let's say you only have about a thousand Robux. I'll open up stuff with good demand first. Because you always gotta look at items that have good demand. By the way, never get that. Alright, let's see. Um, yeah, that's about that. Um, wow, there actually isn't many good stuff for under 1k. Oh well. Uh, let's scroll one more page. Nothing. Alright. So you have this, which is decently unstable. It, c it goes up, and then it goes back down. So this is probably on its up part, and then it's gonna go back down. So I would re recommend avoiding those. But stuff like this, like this is good. You just buy that because first of all, Neo Bombastic Animal Hoodie is worth about 1.5k, and that's the value that it's given when you trade. Basically, that means that when you um trade, let's go here. If you if you're trading for smaller stuff, basically the wrap. Okay, let's do this. Let's explain it this way. So some items are worth a wrap, obviously, because they're too small to have a value. And then there's other stuff like, I don't know, maybe this, that also don't have a value, but it looks like you could basically, you know, get more out of it. And then we have stuff like this, which have a lot higher than higher value than its, um, than its like selling price and all that. Like, this is worth about 1.5 or so. And I believe, since it's worth about 1.5, it's a wrap, and the selling prices aren't that close to its value. Um, let's see. Neon Bombastic Animal Hoodie. This is worth about 1.5k. Now, there are multiple websites like rbx.rocks, as I so graciously labeled it rbx.stones. Um, anyway, so they added a new thing where basically you could post your item and then, like, have people send trades on it. Like, for example, um, we're gonna have to log in, and that, that basically uses your email. And I really don't want to show my email. But well, point is, basically, you can just easily, um, basically, what's that called? Show them. Well, not show them, but show people who are trading that you have an item, and then they send on it. So let's say, you know, we want to trade our neon green beautiful hair right here. We would put it up by going to rbx.rocks, go to create, log in, and then verify your account, all that stuff, and then you create it, and then you put your hair on this side, and then you choose what basically you want to be sent. You're obviously not going to get it if it's too much, but yeah, you put any, and ta-da. Like, when people do any, basically they just want to show people what items they have, and get people interested in sending on it. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll see here. By the way, you have 7,000 followers, that's a lot. Also, before we continue, I want to thank you guys so much for 14,000 subscribers. This is just insane how fast we're growing. Like, I never expected it to go by this fast. Um, anyway, so I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff first. I have to give you some warnings, because this is really dangerous. Okay, so there are bots that will send you horrible trades, but they're more towards the small items. That way they could try to... Um, get people to accept it since they're small trades and people might not know the values if they have small items so I can explain to you exactly why this is bad right now so this is worth about 5.5 to 6 and this is worth about 4, 4.5 at most and this is wrap but let's round it up to 500 basically let's do the most out of both of his items that's 5 for 5.5 to 6 that's bad now F society is one of the most known bots, because at least in my opinion, because that's the one that usually sends me stuff. 13R underscore W, TJ Boss, all of these people who send on your small items, they're bots. Especially when they have the same exact stuff. Crazy Emmy is also a bot. And like, some of them might send you wins and rap over time, like that one. And you don't know if they're going to go through or not. Yeah, see, that one couldn't go through. But the point is... Usually, if you what you want to do is hold in all of these trades by bots, and just see if they're gonna end up losing over time. Usually, they trade it off by now, but you know you never know. 
Anyway, um, let's go here. So there are people who are from Elmad who also send trades. On this occasion, you know, it's a rare for a rare, and then also some demand. A lot of people would be like, accept, accept, accept. You're getting a lot more than what Rox says the values is. Look, I don't use Rox for values. I don't use Rox for values because I know it's decently inaccurate at times. Okay, alright. Also, you never want to wrap trade, guys. Wrap trading is probably one of the worst things you could do. What you want to do is go for solid value trades, like, hmm. I don't really do value trades on this account much because I had a ton of smalls. Um, like right here, point is I middleman on this account mainly because I really don't care about this account too much. But, hmm. Let's just find let's find a trade that's big. Um, I believe we held his items and sent it back. Yeah, we held his items and sent it all back. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna keep clicking through looking for trades here. Hmm. This is a good value trade, I guess, for an example. Um, so this is about. This one is very unstable, but I think I'm gonna value it at three, just because that's what it appears to be. But it could also be 2.75. Like these stuff are very hard to value because they always go up and then down and up and down. And then this is obviously wrapped, so 0.3. So we gave 3.3 for basically. I'm thinking about four. Like a lot of these smalls, you have to determine your own values for, but not like you know outrageous high or lows or anything. <laughs> I like that one. Um, anyway, we'll see how I can explain it a little bit better. Especially because I don't have many things to trade. Because I have these. Um, let's see here. How are we going to explain this? Hold on, let's fix this. Alright, so for small values, what you want to do? You have to combine the wrap and the selling price. And then make a reasonable value based off of it. Like, let's just lower this a little bit so you guys could hear a little bit better on this part. Alright, so let's just go here, here. Let's just open up a bunch of our smalls here. Just these five, right? So does it Desert Air Breather. It's selling under wrap. Its wrap is 1.3. It, it could be around 1.5. Because if you look at it... Oh, jeez. This actually is getting really scarce in the selling. I'm guessing it's hoarded. I, I don't know if it's hoarded or not. Okay, anyway, um, let's go to this one. Now looking at this one, 1.7k wrap, and it's selling for 1.9 consistently. If you look at the wrap charts, it's stable at places. Like this one, it just dropped back down to where it was around here. Looks like it just went for a little bit of a hype peak, and then it went right back down. Or, I don't know if it's really called a hype peak, I just call it that. But, point is, stuff like this, that are high demand, they consistently sell, they could easily be just a little bit over their wrap like this could be about two you, you would be pushing it with two but it could be two this obviously it's one of the highest demand smalls on roblox and let's see it has 3.3k wrap and 3.9k selling price basically it would be around the four maybe 4.5 at most range and basically what you want to do here let's just go to somebody who um let's go to one of these bots i think we're just going to go to f society because i'm pretty sure he has a ton of stuff right yeah, he does. Look at this. They're all upgrading. I don't know how they're making this money. How are they making money off of this? This is disgusting. This is disgusting. Okay, by the way, the bot they use is called Olympian, and it just sends garbage trades to literally anybody. So if you want, you can just block the people who send you bad trades. There's a chance they're bots if they're going to send you bad trades. Anyway, so super fly cap. Let's throw this. Let's throw this. Now... Now, basically, this is how you want to set up. Now, for bigs, you want to go to rbx.rocks, or you could go to the forums. You just click forum. You go to let's make a deal, and you post. You make a post saying, what does super fly cap equal? Title. Or right, I'm just going to say, please answer. Thanks. And that should get you an answer. But I'm very infamous here, so I doubt. Like, everybody doesn't like me here, so I'm pretty sure that we're not going to get a reply. Um, but sometimes you have to make up your own values, because you can't always go by rocks. Because rocks is bound to be inaccurate at some point or another. Because, look, 10k, and then you look at the item itself. It's selling for 10k, and then it's just inconsistent. Like, look, I bought it around here, around this time frame. Anyway, look at this. It's not doing so hot right now. And 
this is a sign that you really don't want to get one. But let's just say you do. Um, this would since it's up for 10k, you can't obviously value it at more than 10k, and the wrap is 7.5. I would say it's a solid 9.5 to 9, just based off of everything that's going on. And how you figure out your own values? You take out a calculator, just type calculator if this doesn't if you don't have it pinned, and let's just go. This is about four. I believe we went over how this is four. No, we didn't. Um, this is four because if you look at it, obviously this part, I don't know why, but 3.45 selling for 3.3, and then it goes back up to its normal selling prices and all that. So I do think that it could be worth four, and this is worth about 5.5, maybe six. So that's 9.5. And then sometimes you have to make them add to make the trade a little bit more fair. So something like that. Let's just send that. Obviously it's a bot, trade so it's not bot. really going to do anything. Yeah, see nobody answers to me. But I'm sure sometimes you'll get answers. Um, anyway, let's go over to new limiteds and why I think you should really avoid them. Let's go to all collectibles. Let's go to recently. Uh, oh, whoops. That's a projected. You don't want to buy that. I'll go into projecteds next. Um, so as you can see, there's a bunch of new limiteds here. This doesn't count. It's very old and it hasn't sold out. This rare, this just recently sold out. Like, whoa! And it actually w didn't do too bad at the beginning, and now it's dying again. Um, anyway, so we have the Blade of the Federation. Oh, this one limited, but it was originally 5k, and now look at it. So with new items, especially on Ro oh wait, this wasn't 5k. It was actually 2k, I think. I don't know. Point is, with Roblox, most of the time. You're going to have horrible, horrible limiteds. Sorry, I have a cold. Um, let's see. So, a lot of these are rappy. I see the bot just doesn't even know what to do, so it just declined. I'm pretty sure it goes based off of rocks value. Um, anyway, so let's see. For new limiteds. Hmm. Let's go starting with this arch du arc duchess. Now, the arc duchess, what you want to do is... What happened was it was up for 150k and it had 2,000 stock. Obviously, not all of it sold, and they had a time limit on you, time limit on it. And as you can see, it did not start off well, and it's still not doing too amazingly. So you want to look at it, and for items as big as this, you do kind of want to lean over to rocks, and then you want to confirm with um, what's that called? With let's make a deal. But when you're getting, when you're buying a new limited, make sure that you look at the stock, and you make sure you look at everything, right? Okay, so we'll head into projections right after this. So you want to look at it. If it has very high stock, very high price, don't get it. If it has very high stock yet it's super cheap, like 50 robux, yeah, definitely buy it. That's guaranteed profit. My rule of thumb is. If it's less than 200 Robux, it doesn't matter how high the stock is. It's not going to be lower than 200. Because the smallest item on Roblox, let's just go low to high. Smallest item on Roblox is Cuddly Koala. And it has over 2 million sold. And it's stable at around 200 wrap consistently. Therefore, it's literally impossible for Cuddly Koala to ever do horrible. Or, um, it's impossible for it to do worse than Cuddly Koala. That's what I meant. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, just be careful when you're getting new items. They're always like really, they look like they're going to do well and then they just crash. That's what happens with new items. They get hyped up and then they just die. So you never want to get stuck with new items for too long. Anyway, let's go over to projected now. Um, let's open up all the projected stuff here because usually there's a bunch of projected stuff on the front page. I don't know if this is projected. We'll take a look at that. And I'll also tell you guys how to tell if an item is projected versus, like, you know, if it's just something that doesn't sell much. And it sold for high for coincidence. Um, let's go around here. I'm just looking at items I know were projected or, you know, look like it. Hmm. And now let's get something rare. Let's just get Lord of... Let's just get Lord of the Void, because I know that's going to be one that I can actually... You know, tell you guys that it's not. So if you look at it, sold for 200k, 195, 233k. Just looking out of nowhere, somebody might think it's projected just because of, you know, it goes up about, hmm, about 38k in selling price. 
and it just happens randomly. Some people might think it's for Deku, but it's actually not. It's because it's a very rare item, as you can see, 123 sold, and it came out in 2009. So it leaves the supply very, very low. So therefore, it can't. Its demand isn't also, like the m demand isn't super high, so it can't really do too amazingly. And this is why um, people always call rares bad because you know they have very low supply, and that means they never get really traded or anything. But, you know, let's look at this one. This is basically a retexture of it. This one has a little bit more sales because it has more supply. And it came out more recently. This one came out in about 2013, 2012, something like that. I forgot when. Um, anyway, just look at all of these. It sells consistently. Somebody might think it's projected because, you know, these random spikes. Then it goes back down to its normal. Then it goes down. Then it spikes up again. See, this is called... You know, basically a little bit unstable for the selling, but these two basically just lower the wrap. Now, there's another thing before we continue on with the projected stuff. Before we even get into projected stuff, let's go to Valk. There's also one with classic Fedora, so Valkyrie. As you can see, it sold for one seven times on that day. And somebody might be asking, why would anyone sell a Valk for one seven times? And my answer to that is, it's to ruin it. People try to ruin items by selling it for one multiple times, which in turn destroys the wrap, like here. I'll show you guys the wrap formula. So the formula for wrap is whatever the wrap is right now, times 9, plus whatever you're selling it for, divided by 10. So as you can see, if you sell it for 1 right now, its wrap will go from 47,830 to 43,047. Um, so that's a big drop for 1. Now let's do it again. Multiply by 9 plus 1 divided by 10. It's already down to 38. The point is, it's just going to keep going down. I believe the wrap went from like 50 something all the way down to like 20s. That's how hard I believe it happened. And it was doing so well at the time because it was up. It actually sold multiple times for around 63. But yeah, that's called an LPP, and that's really what ruins some hats. Now let's go over to projecteds. Now this was projected, and if you don't know why, if you look at it, it just goes from nor selling normally, and then it goes up to 7,000 instead of its normal thousand range. Maybe a thousand to three thousand is the average range for it, and then you know it goes right back down. That's obviously something to watch out for. Um, let's see. This actually isn't projected, and I'll explain to you why. I believe it might be hoarded. There's a difference between hoarding and projecting, because when you're hoarding, you're just grabbing multiple of them, and you're willing to pay extra for them. When you're projecting them, you deliberately make it higher, and then try to get rid of your hoard, basically. And also, look, it doesn't have that many up for sale. Looks like it has gotten a little bit rare. Um... Or maybe not rare, but scarce. Now, if you look around, this wrap, it doesn't look too... What's the word? It just doesn't look like it can average out to X amount based off of that. Looks more of like an upward curve here on the averages. And this was a recently projected item that I believe I hit twice. Because if you look at it, it goes from the 2,000 range up to 4,000, 5,000, and then it goes back down to there. And then 5,000 again, and then it drops right back down to 1,000. That's always something you need to watch out for. Right now, you could probably get it and then, you know, trade it away, obviously, because, you know, it's not projected anymore. But at the time when they're projected, they're always really bad to have because everybody notices what a projected is at this point. And it'll just be hard to get rid of them, really. And that's the problem with projected. It's really hard to get rid of. Even if you own them legitimately, let's say this gets projected, green banded. Let's say it sells for... Hmm. Let's say it sells for 500,000 for whatever reason. Some crazy dude sells it for 500,000. Its wrap becomes 55,000. And that will obviously be projected because, you know, all the selling prices are super low. But if you don't... Basically, that's the point. If you don't realize it, it could really mess you up. And then you have um, big items. Now, the reason big items really never get projected... Well, take a hint. Or, not take a hint, but take a guess. I mean... They're too big to really be projected. Like, Steampunk Bobby. This was projected at one point, I believe. Not now, but it was projected a while ago. 
and then somebody sold it for 1,000 ones. But I believe back before this, it was also projected really high, and then somebody um, sold it for one a ton of times just to average it out. And then I believe that happened. I'm not too sure because I don't remember this item too much. And then this, it just goes back up. Like, if you guys don't know, this is completely hoarded by somebody called the Highwaymen. And basically, it's just, we'll keep going up in selling price because, you know, it's hoarded. And the last people who have it aren't really active and they're not really trading theirs. So it's obvious that, you know, it's not really going to ever get anywhere in terms of, you know, going up or down. Anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much it. If you guys need help, I'll make a second video about it. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.